Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back! Welcome back, everyone! Right, and for some reason my chat disappeared. Hmm, what, what, what happened with that? This is not good, not good, not good. Ah, okay. That explains a lot. Why, why is this not? Up here. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I think some something broke. Oh, I, I hate when things break down, and and this is not good. Yeah, uh, something something broke down. I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, uh, we won't see the chat in here for some reason. Uh, because this decided to stop working. Oh, this is ridiculous. It stopped working. <laughs> uh, right, yes. Uh, stream chat doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Uh, for some reason, this, this just decided to... Why would this... Hmm. That is weird. Uh, it should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah, hang on. This is a subcategory, and this is not supposed to be a subcategory. <laughs> I see, I see, I see, I see. Anyway, anyway. And this is not working again. Right, anyway, I won't be fixing things on the stream. <laughs> hello, everyone. Red Trail, hello. Uh, Hello, hello. <laughs> right, yes. Uh, it's gonna be my first day in multiplayer in Ray Road or Ray Roader. There we go. <laughs> so many games with Ray Roads and, and Ray Roads name. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. Right, anyway. Yes, so this is the very first day of Admirals rail company when i will employ new employees there we go and the first one just connected and it's tankist he is with me on discord i am expecting few more people to show up later on but for now there's going to be two of us and we will be running this tiny railroad and hopefully things will work Hopefully. <laughs> right. Uh, I will soon enable Discord so we will be able to hear each other. But first things first. Let's hop in to the game win. There we go. Now we got the game in the full screen. And now the chat is working. Woohoo. <laughs> At least one thing that didn't go down. Unfortunately, Today there was an update to OBS and obviously everything had to break down on the stream day because why not? <laughs> right, anyway, uh, let me first set up a crew member. Uh, so, there is Tankist with me. Uh, I will set him to crew. And he will join... <laughs> Can I actually... Oh, so he, he needs to join it himself. Uh, see, th the game lacks a little bit of a management tools, uh, which is 
pretty bad. Anyway, uh, let's let's get this thing sorted. Uh, Tankist, could you join uh, crew number two? Hi, uh, Jim. And can you also take ten wheeler? Grab those passenger <coughs> cars and run the passenger service for now. Uh, maybe I better if I take uh, lo logs, uh, logs first then because he loaded. Or uh, first uh, we need. Don't worry about the logs. Just uh, keep running constant passenger service for now. So go between uh, Wittier and Ila stations, and I will give you a shout when there is some more cars ready for you. Right, so uh, that's going to be our passenger train and there are some cars that I need to switch before I will send the rest of the train with tankist. Uh, so we got Ila Bridge Supplies uh, that I can easily send with passenger service. Uh, we can send this Ila Farm Supply and, and we can ask uh, tankist to, to just move this thing from uh, yesterday is against to add OCRD type signals in satisfactory. It's um, like in Poland or uh, Ru Russian uh, signalization. Just, uh, just can I uh, see red, uh, red after green? It uh, makes some angry, like a real uh, road worker. <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 don't, uh, don't uh, excuse you. I uh, can't excuse you. Uh, fuse myself. Just uh, use uh, IE to avoid. Uh, oh, oh, I see, I see. So just just, uh, just uh, use uh, IE for avoid spontaneous crash. Oh, okay. Well, because... AI isn't perfect, to be honest, and. Uh... It, it tends to crash wagons. I, I had that today uh, with with the lock cars. I asked AI to uh, perform shunting and connect two halves of the train. Mm. And it actually damaged the cars. So you need to watch out with AI. It's, it's not perfect. Yes, I know. Listen, okay. better if I take uh, one passenger wagon and uh, wagons to Ella Bridge site? Uh, for now, take both passenger cars. I, I need to take some wagons of that uh, freight train first. Okay. Not not everything goes to Ela, so when I will cut whatever I need... Uh, I say to... I, I say take uh, wagons to Ela. Not shall. Only to Ela. Uh, we uh, are uh, uh, taking uh, two passenger wagons and uh, freight wagons uh, to Yila. Uh, yeah, but that will happen later because at the front there are wagons for somewhere else, and and I need to cut them off. Okay. So focus on on passenger service for now. Okay. Nico. Atrimi, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Right, right. Uh, so, I need to get my locomotive. For now, I will be in the crew number three. Oh, hang on. So, here's one thing that I don't like about the game. Uh, since we got those advanced roles, I would expect that the company founder and some sort of like higher officers would be able to assign people to different crews <laughs> and this way I can assign tasks to those crews because there are those co uh, those things called uh, switch list and this would be very <laughs> useful however since uh, listen, what, uh, about, decided to uh, can we build it, um, repairs bridge to prison uh, after we do a um, signalization between the breeze and Twitter. Uh, you know, it, it's gonna take a while before we can build anything. 
Uh, for now, let's focus on regular services. I'm on board in the future. Uh, also, don't forget to hop into uh, crew section and join crew number two. Oh, am I that quiet? Hmm, that's that's weird. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I wouldn't expect that uh, hmm, the tankies will be louder than me. That's that's interesting. Hang on. Uh, see that that's that's what happens when you decide to install an update to OBS. Things break down. <coughs> Hang on, I, I, I had the filters, yet yeah, there should be a... Oh, limiter is set. Uh, hang on. Uh, I, I don't want to set it too low, because then if someone won't, won't be loud enough, it will be hard to hear them, but... Okay, that, that should be better. Oh, I, I really hate updates to OBS because it, it completely messed up everything, literally, and I, I shouldn't have done it. I, I couldn't get things sorted today. <laughs> well, uh, Atrimi, the, the thing about game sound is that uh, game sounds are very quiet. And um, I can eventually. And, uh, uh, okay, then press the buttons. There we go. I, I can lower the volume of, of the music, uh, which is a good point. Uh, but the game has very quiet sounds, and uh, even with uh, uh, with settings, yeah, I, I got everything maxed out. So, initially when the game was released, uh, the complaint from some of the streamers was that the game is too loud. So, they toned down some, some of the volume settings, and even if you set the game to the maximum volume, it, it's not as loud as it used to be. So, I, I kind of have a real problem to set it up so that it is loud enough anyway now let's wait for tankis to move his passenger service uh, for water, let's, uh, break. <laughs> oh i see there we go Uh, game filter. Yeah, I could do that, uh, but the problem is that you apply it to entire source. Uh, although, hang on, I, I, I can technically uh, I can apply it to the game itself. Uh, oh no, I, I can apply. Ah, I see, I see, and that's the problem. Hmm. Because filters would apply effects. Color, luma, render, scaling, aspect ratio. No, no, that, that would be visual issues. Uh, but if I will set it for audio mixer, it will set it for all games that I play. And if I forget to tone it down, you might hear some, this one. some games to be way too loud. Nico, hello. Uh, so, yeah, with, with Ray Rhoda, it's very difficult to find a perfect balance. I will get there eventually. I will get there. I just need to remember to keep the volume of, of the music down. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, since I got a clear way now... 
I can get my locomotive on the move. Right, so first things first, we need to take out first six, seven wagons and I need to put them on on the sawmill trucks. Because uh, it is waiting to be loaded so that it can process any logs that are currently there. Let's move those wagons. Okay. Perfect. Let's check all the switches. Yes, that will need changing. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'm not running around this thing. At least I'm not gonna do it like two times. No, no, no. So what I will do? Okay, I take passengers. I'm going to kill. Uh... The last time I checked, there were like seventy passengers waiting. That's the minimum you should have. Uh, so about passenger cars, better if you in future will be by um, Osgood Bradley. You mean those bigger ones? Yes, uh, here have uh, more capacity. But they are also very expensive and heavy. Uh, if you. Uh, so about, about that, uh, not worry. I uh, ride uh, with those wagons at uh, 10 wheeler. He can take. Just to uh, try not to overload. If not for God, he can take uh, 700 tons. I see. run around and kick those wagons out. Ah, oh, this is a very long siding. <laughs> those cars nice and slowly okay now let's release the handbrakes oh hang on <laughs> I applied handbrakes Last two wagons. Oh, it's them two. Right. This one and this one. Okay. So I need... Uh, 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 I need 
up to those wagons. So what I will do... Them back soon after come. I will decouple them. Now we will slowly push all that. Hopefully just enough to give it momentum so that those wagons will roll onto that double truck. this bit I will soon move into wheat here so that uh, tankist can uh, can take Ila bridge supplies and that Ila car with him Okay, we will also be joined by Nico very soon. I am back. Perfect. Now, a couple dots. Let's apply the handbrake. Perfect. Wow, we got seven cars. Kukuts, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. $93. That's really good number of passengers. Really impressed. 93 passengers with only two stations. Oh, looks like Nico put incorrect passwords. got some spare funds so we can invest in things okay i'm uh, back to peter good 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 Just 
because this is a little bit oh no these are empty cars okay so i don't really need to have brakes connected okay let's try it without brakes connected we should be able to shunt those cars power go now we need to reverse and place all those wagons on them two sidings i'm not sure if they all gonna fit hopefully they will uh, i will try to put place them here next to the platform and because tomorrow i'm expecting similar batch so to prevent additional shunting maneuvers that I would need to switch those cars uh, we might try and place them on one single track and just wait for them all to be loaded which will surely take a few hours okay. okay having brakes not connected makes it really really hard to stop this train there we go lovely uh cuckoo's i am doing really good i am doing really good there we go are now ready oh hang on wrong way <laughs> oh my days okay let's do it nice and slow Because it is going to be a tight fit. That is if I can fit everything at all. Okay, looks like tank is just stopped at the station. don't think this is going to fit and if so I'm gonna be exactly at the buffer oh maybe 
maybe. Oh, okay. But you can uh, stop. You will load. Hey, Fluffy, I uh, am in your server now. Good, good, good. Um, just give me a second. I can barely hear you. Yeah, uh, Nico, any chance you can increase your volume on Discord? Seventy-seven dollars uh, from Viter's right, depot. <laughs> there we no, go. My input volume is max. <laughs> your input volume is max. I I yes, also got your volume increased. Uh, to the maximum on this course, and I can barely hear you. Hmm. I think that uh, wait him passengers uh, get more. 55 from uh, Vitor now. Uh, that's good enough. Just keep running uh, back and forth. I will be moving your train soon, so. Uh, on your next round, you might be able to pick up some extra wagons. Okay, so we managed to fit everything. Uh, so what's up, Fluffy? What are we doing? Well, that that is better, better. I've literally changed nothing, so. <laughs> you changed nothing. Uh, yeah, glad to hear I, it's better though. I mean, you seem to be talking a little bit louder, which is good, I guess. Uh, right, so what we are doing? Uh, hmm. That is a good question. Alright, hold on a second. Uh, you are already on the server, do you? Yes. Uh, so join team one. How do I do that? Uh, you need to open company tab. Or company window. Go to cruise. Select one and press join. And then give me a moment. Well, we could technically. Okay, I think I've those. done it. I don't need to. And right. after that, you can start, you can, uh, start get the That's gonna money. be overpowered. We can't really afford. Uh, so Fluffy, I don't there. think it's a good idea to take passengers. Only for no. uh, safety reputation. So forget many, better if you take logs and uh, unload that signal. It's uh, give uh, more money. I, I still need you to run constant passenger service uh, so that we don't basically waste money. But uh, freight, uh, freight uh, service to several uh, from connecting get uh, give more daily. I know that freight service gives more daily, and that is being looked at. Uh, but yeah, we we can't basically do everything at the same time. Uh, anyway. Anyway, oh, hang on, I forgot, I forgot what I was doing, uh, so, uh, 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 there is this one, there we go, perfect, uh, right, Nico, uh, you will find a locomotive, on Wittier Yards. Can I do the crew thing, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Hang on. Yes, yes. Uh, you've done the crew, is it? No, you, you haven't. Uh, also, I forgot to change your role to crew member. There we go. Hey, okay, now it works. 
Oh, what and, and now you can Minas join. Merlin. Oh, I see. So as a passenger, you can't even join a crew. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you join as a passenger. I see. Yeah, every person who joins uh, gets passenger role by default, and then I have to assign a role to a specific person. Interesting. Uh, like, basically, the management side of things is... There are some good ideas, uh, but I feel like it could be polished a little bit better. I'm sure it will be. It's still early access. Yeah. Uh, right, anyway, Nico, uh, your locomotive is waiting at Whittier Yard, or at this interchange, whatever that is called. Just interesting if uh, uh, in game at uh, Challenger class and uh, Big Boy cl class. Just interesting we, where we can uh, you, uh, can use uh, this locomotive. To be honest, um... there doesn't seem to be much of a use for bigger locomotives just yet. Especially if we got literally one yard and two stations. So Fluffy, is it? LSARC1? Yes, that... it okay. is LSARC1, which is a unit assigned to your crew. <clears throat> right, and um, going back to management side of things. So. I think better of a. Uh... You you Nick, have those. Uh, just uh, uh, drop um, first yeah. two wagons at uh, Vitir and uh, move it, and continue moving to Yela. Uh, you have those different roles. Uh, meanwhile, you you can uh, shunt uh, this all sudden to near the tracks. Um. Well, uh, basically, it's... what I thought is is to give Nico the logs. Uh, ah, it's you in the third tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nico. Uh, if you can go to Connolly uh, Yard Two, there should be log cars that are loaded. And if you could pick them up and deliver them to Sawmill. Right, I I'm not sure if Nico is saying something or not. Sorry, I'm looking through the tutorial um, to try to figure out how to drive this engine. Wait, oh, <laughs> you, you, you haven't even done the tutorial yet? No, I've not. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> okay, okay, so while you are looking at the tutorial, uh, let me just get this stuff going. Okay, I need to set this one. So I want to collide with 
and this. Perfect. Alan6876, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Uh, Tankist. Yes. Tank uh, if you can go to Ila now, because I'm going to need to use your truck for now. Uh, just give five minutes, i not fully loaded by passengers. Uh, don't wait for all the passengers. Okay. There's, well, there's no point to, to just wait for them. don't have signals. I need to go back and forth. that way. It's only 650 tons. But even this model seems to be struggling with it. Or perhaps I just set the reversal back a little bit too much. Hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. You've been playing since the game came out. Yeah, th to be honest, I I've also been playing pretty much since the release date. And I really enjoy this game, honestly. Like, Railroader is by far one of the most enjoyable games that I've been playing recently. Even though it's not perfect and it, it has some issues, um, it's not quite a simulator uh, because the game has a lot of arcade elements or very, well, large number of uh, simplifications. Uh, but it's it's such an enjoyable game. It looks alright and everything seems to be in some sort of logical order which which makes this game really fun to play if that makes sense okay we need to cut these wagons and uh, let's apply on the first one okay there we go Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, but 
Falco just came in, just said hello. Ah, but okay. He has so low voice that that it blends with everything, mm -hmm. and and it was barely noticeable. Maybe he no microphone. Uh, no help. Uh, Kukuts, yes, you can derail in this game, although derailments are, well, not not so spectacular. If, if someone is looking for a very spectacular derailment, well, I'm sorry to say mm -hmm. that uh, you will be disappointed. Uh, derailments are actually done in a very smart way. Uh, they might look in in some way spectacular because obviously there's going to be a lot of dust and and debris uh, around. But your wagons and and cars that will eventually derail uh, won't just go flying around. Uh, they will just slide off the tracks and that's it. So. You don't get those massive derailments where things are falling off the bridges and, and stuff like that. It's it's much simpler. of my uh, GPU with your card. I think to change to RTX 26. 26. Mm -hmm. Just because I see how uh, half uh, hit up my uh, uh, 16. Uh, 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 60 and uh, 60 and just it's uh, scare me. I see. Okay, now that we got those two wagons uh, pretty much behind this consist, I can move it to this track, allowing Tankis to operate on this one. Go. Let's do that switch really quick. Nico, how's uh, how's the learning going? Uh, it's going, it's going. I've moved the locomotive, so that okay, is... okay, that that is a significant uh, progress and, and development. Almost there. Anos <laughs> hey, GR, thank you very much for subscribing. I'm come back. Okay, uh, I'm almost done. Ah, yes, I forgot. A lot from uh, Yela to Vitir. Give me a minute. I will move away and then you can go back to the chair. These wagons, Ooh. okay. 
that that's not safe. Ooh, I, I, I gl I'm glad that I spotted that. Okay, so this is definitely on a grade. You, you don't want to leave unsecured wagons there. Okay, I'm back to VTL. Just hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay. The track is busy. It's okay. We need to uh, push CTC control. That's going to take a while before I can put on CTC. Classic Pilot, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Come on, come on. I need to push this thing out of the way. Wagon. Put on handbrake. And escape on the second track. Where we can. I'm doing great. I'm doing really great. Currently trying to prepare some cars for tankist who is running passenger service and he's gonna pick those cars up for me. Okay. Okay, the track should be now clear. Yes. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, I will run around this entire consist and pick up those two wagons and jump them. Oh, you are running uh, logging cars. Yes, that's, uh, to be honest, uh, these logging jobs uh, for sawmill are the best paying jobs in the game at the moment. Uh, because switching those cars will yield about, what, $120, providing that you switch them both ways. So you deliver the car to the industry and then You're gonna pick it up and drop it off at the interchange. Each job will pay you roughly around $65, $70. So you probably won't make millions out of it. Uh, but it's dealing with those uh, lock cars that that is bringing real money. Because if you see, if you look at the finances, it's freight for Whittier Sawmill that is actually paying money. Everything else is 
just had to change. Uh, Fluffy, whenever you're ready, I am set to go, and I don't know what to do. Or rather, I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Okay. Uh, if you open the map, uh, yeah, you can see a place called Connelly. And in there, you should find a loaded log cars. If you can bring them back to the sawmill. And the sawmill is... <coughs> sawmill is right next to interchange. Got it. Uh, you can basically highlight <coughs> things. If you open the company tab, go to locations. Uh, you can, for example, click on Whittier Sawmill. And there are tracks. Mm -hmm. And if you click on the arrow, it will literally move your camera to a specific track. And I need you to move those lock cars to R1. And the lock cars are on Connolly Creek L2. on a logging local. What, what kind of local did you buy? Wait, did you get that Mikado or whatever that is? Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that logging Mikado. Nah, even with a discount it's gonna be more expensive than 11k. Or, oh, you got that logging tank Mikado. Hmm, that that's interesting choice. <coughs> mm. Are you actually hunting? I just that look uh, at a shop for uh, of uh, video cards. Bet uh, better if I take uh, ten gigabytes if I have a uh, full HD screen. Yes. Uh. I, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, probably that would help. Does my uh, GPU have uh, X for now? I've not forgotten. You uh, deliver 13 cars. Uh, I, I usually deliver around 16 cars, uh, but I got level 3 contract with them. And that. Uh, 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 I'm gone. Uh, yeah, I got left. Uh, I got tier three contract, and they consume fifteen cars of logs per day. So delivering sixteen gives me one car. One forty-five thousand for Oblis. That sawmill with the lake uh, reminds me to the la uh, farming simulators. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if, if they just used some cheap assets from somewhere. I'm not sure if they modeled every single some thing. <laughs> you remember one meme? Um from one uh, meme group you buy the most powerful uh, video card in the planet for play factorium i mean there's nothing wrong with that I 
by the way, because I have two monitors, I can look each of your streams in Twitch. <laughs> nice. That's a nice multitasking. <laughs> So on one hand, you can see me switching cars and Nico struggling to find the controls. Tankist, did you set the next destination for, for the passenger cars? Uh, yes, of course. Okay. On your way to Ila, you can pick up those uh, Ila cars from the other truck. From the other truck, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, when you leave the station, just reverse back, pick them up, uh, okay, and I drop see. them off at at Ila. Uh, I will okay, 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 okay. come in I... later to to switch them. Understand. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Clayton. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, I, I stopped playing uh, Train Sim Walls uh, because I disagree with uh, with the way how uh, new versions are being released and stuff. Okay. Heading towards Connelly Creek. Perfect. Okay. To keep both of these uh, tank cars in appropriate order. I'm going to pull out IC2703, connect it with uh, EJE2321 and then push them both back onto the correct siding. Because IC2703 is going to empty first. So then when I have to take it out, I won't have to remove both of them and mingle with it. So basically I'm going to do more work now, so then I can do less work in the future, which probably makes sense. Watching the streams, I was wondering if, if I have my uh, model train simulator on the PC, but sadly not. Model train simulator? You mean trains? Just 
Well, it, it's not kind of train simulator, but... Yeah, at Remender I have a simulator where you can have a model train track which you can completely build from zero on. Remember one game like that. I uh, have this uh, railroad tycoon. Railroad tycoon. Oh old my days, this is a very side. old game. To be honest, I, I, I loved playing Railroad Tycoon in the past, but wow. It was Railroad Tycoon 2, in fact, that, that I loved playing. And 3 wasn't the best, to be honest. They, I don't know. It, it was nice to see yeah, it in 3D, but... Part. I mostly done uh, mountains where the entrance was already running out of sand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> crash those wagons too hard. If you press those two wagons too hard, they gonna make boom. <laughs> uh, not in this game. But no, I will... Okay. Earn Same. less money. No action in here. Not allowed. Glass sounds. Uh, yeah, okay, that's closed. These ones are closed. Okay. Perfect. We got twelve thousand gallons of oil that we will just place there. Oil trains, by the way. Uh, it's heating oil. Precisely. You need to be efficient. Okay. I, I was almost scared that I 
said the two. Okay. Too hard. Uh, but it was alright. Uh, they, they stopped at the buffer. <laughs> but they seem to have survived. Yeah, they, they survived without any damages. So I considered that as a test. Okay, Nico, how are you doing with the logs? Doing all right. I'm at the place and about to couple up. Very good. Connolly, that's the name. How are you doing out there? side track and after okay. uh, I go I go around train to coping from uh, another end okay good 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 so you're gonna switch all those cars <laughs> and, and put them in correct places Hard enough. Come on, come on. Just a bit more. Oh, don't tell me I will have to reverse and go all the way. Ah, okay. It made it. It made it. <laughs> Is it going to roll all the way to the buffer or not? Hello. 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 Long time no here. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Wanna join us? For what? Railroader. I have no train game. Oh no, you should get it. Respect. Respect. <laughs> I'm actually primary here for Falco, basically. <laughs> <laughs> because I was wondering what is he doing here 
But yeah. Well, he joined us. Maybe he was bored or something. Okay, how are these wagons doing? Wow, they, they already loaded 18 tons out of 30. So they are halfway loaded. one perfect hmm. where's Nico? ah there he is That's going to be easier. Oh, okay. Wondering. Okay, he, he connected the glass hands. Okay, okay. I almost thought that he forgot to connect the air pipe, which would mean that he's going downhill with a lot I can't remember I, I think that's like four or five hundred tons <laughs> so obviously we don't want him to accidentally <laughs> damage something <laughs> So this one can stay for a while and Nico is about to bring the logs and what about tankist where is he where is he oh, this is so far away okay he's switching I think he's switching all that. <laughs> Although, if he is bringing Ila Farm supply. I think he will need to pull out those two wagons. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I see. So he's going to leave all that. And I will have to come in and switch all those. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Those two are ready to be taken to interchange. And this one will pretty much soon be ready. So by the time I will finish all the switching, I might as well collect them. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. So I might actually need that ARC3. Can I uh, push them to the side? I will go. Okay. Oh, hang on. So, if the tankist is going, I will use 10 wheeler to do that. Shared. Just one minute and there we go. That's that will do. Okay. For now I will leave that and keep an eye on things. Uh, so Nico is coming back with the logs. And then we will have to wait for about two hours for them to be unloaded so that we can shunt the cars again, wait for them to be loaded, drop them back, unload them, and that's the day finish. We shouldn't be finishing the day before we deliver at least 16 cars of logs. Otherwise, we won't be able to supply the sawmill. In the meantime, these are nicely loading, so uh, probably in a couple of minutes, uh, either me or Nico will be able to shunt them. I have to admit that some things are really, uh, really quick in this game. So I, I heard some complaints from couple of people saying yeah things are very slow in this game and it takes few hours to to load or or, or few days to load something it's not that slow to be honest i literally just shunted those cars what about an hour ago and they are almost loaded they they take only 30 tons of, of stuff and they already got 20.9, so literally almost 21 tons. There we go, there are logs. Let's make sure that... Okay, Nico won't accidentally crash into me. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. go since it's very early stage of the game and I still don't have access to Bryson oh why why does he uh he went the wrong way gonna have a hard time pushing them all right Nico you can push them back I have to admit that you picked a pretty bad track to, to do your run out uh oh you should have stayed on, on the main line. Because right now you will have to push all that weight uphill. Because this this lit, this particular track goes downhill. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, I set your switches so you can push them back. Yeah, I noticed that. Thank you.
How many uh, tones is that? Fluffy, Elise and Fluffy, I forgot to disconnect um, yellow farm supply wagon. You will take uh, later. I go to sleep by all. Okay, okay. Right, so, while Nico is dealing with that, I see. Let me jump to, to this side. Okay, so there's that Ila supply. Uh, Ila bridge side is shunted. Okay, I can open that. I can apply handbrakes. Let's apply three of them. I will select this locomotive since it's not in use at the moment. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, 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 cruise. We got three active crews. Technically, crew number two is mostly for transporting stuff over long distance. Uh, wait, let's go in river. Oh, I'm gone. This is I need to set to manual. This AI is trying to override things. Okay, now let's fix things. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Uh, so I got the cars in the wrong places. I'm not sure. Uh, should I actually wait for this uh, PRR575582 to be unloaded? Hmm. What I might do... Yeah, I'll, I'll probably wait for it. It makes no sense to, to move that if I will have to get this car out anyway. Okay, how do I want to do it? Uh, first of all, I'm not sure why Tankist left these two cars on this track rather than leaving it on, on this or this track. So now we're talking. Much easier. Right, uh, so. Um, let me think for a minute. You are at Whittier. Oh no. Okay, th those lock cars will take about two to three hours to unload. So in the meantime, uh, you can help me uh, at Hila. Uh, you just want me to come over as a person or bring a locomotive? Uh, you know what? You can bring the locomotive. Uh, have you put fuel? Yeah, you got full fuel. Uh, bring the locomotive. And I'm gonna give you the passenger wagons. So you can get them out of my way. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I'll be waiting at Ela. Got it. Oh god, I could be evil right now. I could be very evil to your stream right now. Really? Because I can do this. Oh yeah, that's... That would be very annoying. Yeah. Right, so if Nico is going to take those wagons for me, that will clear the tracks, which is good. Okay, uh, nothing's damaged, nothing's damaged. Okay. Fantastic. Go. This one is still... Wow. It's unloading very, very slowly. There we go. Hopefully, they got enough momentum to get out of my way. And also set destination for both of them. So when Nico shows up, he can load the passengers. We should have quite a few in here. 72 passengers at Wittier. Uh, well, heading to Wittier. Uh, I can also add them to, to my switch list. And they will now show in here. 
I have to say that switch list would be very useful if I could set it for different crews uh, as a company owner. Because right now I can set it only for the current crew that I'm in. Uh, meaning that I could technically jump through each and every crew. And change their switch list. But ah, this is so annoying. Fully updating switch list. No. So you don't really have uh, passenger services as a switch list. Okay, 0 0.8. gonna be annoying okay and he's gone i can I can do it this way who's gone falco mm. nice okay so i need to extract them two wagons. Nothing else on other Discord servers with where I'm normally on. Everyone is basically not there to do something. Well, it happens. It happens. Yeah. and put them in, in this spot and wait for this one to upload. I might actually make it and assemble that train for Nico so he can actually take it the other way. Never mind, Nico made it quicker than I expected. Uh, okay, Nico, if you can pick up those two passenger cars. And then make a stop at the platform behind you. You got it. Good.
that's the first jump movement that I have to perform. Let's pick up the other wagon. Oh yeah, uh, Nico, if you are struggling with angle cocks, uh, because it's, it's very awkward to turn them manually, when you connect the glad hand, press and hold shift and it will automatically open or close the angle cups. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Same I've goes to couplers. To if you thing. if you press the couplers with uh, with shift, uh, then it will also uh, close the angle cups. Nice, good enough. Yeah, it makes things much easier. How do I know when to go? Right. So, do you have uh, if you right if you press tab, it will show uh, labels above the cars and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. And when you hover your mouse over the station door, it will tell you how many passengers are waiting. If there is zero, that means Ew, you okay. probably have all the passengers you need or you can take in your cars, so then go. Or if both cars are full, just you can take up to 120 passengers right now. Yeah. Uh, also, each time you stop on the station, if you uh, control click on the car, go to passenger, 
you need to check the next station that you are going to so that the passengers know if they want to board your train or not. So right now you got Whittier Depot uh, ticked. That's why passengers mm -hmm. hopped into your train. Oh, got it. Okay. Is it just the next one or like all of the ones you'll be stopping at? Just the next one uh, because it will untick it as soon as you arrive. So if you would tick Ila Station, uh, it, it will untick itself because you are already at Ila Station. So it oh, makes no sense to tick all of them. Yeah, I guess what I mean is like if there was a say a third station that was past yeah Whittier. yeah uh, if there is a third station you you take all the other stations that you are not at right now so let's say if you would be at Ila and we would have Whittier and Bryson you would want mm -hmm. to take Whittier and Bryson if you are going to to Bryson as well although it makes no sense because with uh, Ila is located in between them so again. Um, ideally, Actually, yeah, like all, all the stations normal. on your way, you can take them because passengers will then board your train. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, well, the game I'm can be there. a bit clunky at, at places. Right. Uh, what was I doing? Um, Okay, so I'm still waiting for that PRR uh, 57582. Question is, do I want to stay idle and wait for this car? Or perhaps should I follow Nico as soon as he gets to Whittier? And should I do some switching at Whittier? Uh, hang on. Oh, uh, wrong. wrong. And let's teleport here. Okay, logs are nicely unloading, which is good. And these cars, oh, okay, these have 40 tons. I see, I see. There's still about 10 tons of cargo to load before we have to switch those cars onto the interchange perfect we pretty much have to continue service until we can deliver 16 cars of logs because otherwise i i will fail contract with with the sawmill and that is going to slow the progression down Let's see how the ELA bridge supplies are doing. Point one. Oh, I should have checked how much uh, supplies they took initially. Was it 40 or 30? Because if they unload quick enough, I might actually collect them today and order a third phase for tomorrow. And then by the end of the stream, we might be able to build that bridge. Oh, that would be really good in fact. Because this means more and better services. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Uh, how's the finances doing? 1600. Uh, that's not the best, to be honest. Uh, railroad, 110% so far. Wait, six dollars wages for engineer. You have to pay wages for AI? A cheeky bastard. 
I can understand wages for for shop stuff, but engineer six dollars. Ah, that, he's ripping me off. AI is ripping me off, and I have to guide it on every on each and every step. Oh, this is. Not nice, not nice. Way too expensive. Right, uh, let's see, where's Nico? Uh, he's still on his way to Whittier. Need to have some more engineers. Uh, yes, uh, I, I still get... Well, I got one free locomotive, although I, I don't really have work for uh, one extra engineer at the moment. Because uh, at, at this point, it's mostly waiting. Uh, obviously, I need to switch those two cars. Uh, I'm still waiting for, for this car to, to be unloaded, although it's kind of pointless. Well, if you want to join, the details of the session are on my Discord, so all you need to do is to join the Discord, and if you have the game, feel free to do it. <sighs> right. Hmm. Things are a little bit stalled at the moment. Uh, where's Nico? Is he already? Ah, uh, there we go. He cleared the track for me, so I can change that switch. And those cars and get them to East Twitter interchange. to be actually completed before I can call the third phase. And there we go, we got another player. Nico, are you still at uh, Whittier? Yes, I am. Good, good. Uh, so stay there because I'm on my way to uh, the same yard. Okay. So, so that single track will currently be occupied. Although it will take a while for you to load the passengers anyway. You want me to load them for Ila? Uh, yes, uh, yes, if you can do that. Got it. Also, I think we could do locomotive swap uh, because ten wheeler is not not so good for cargo services.
Uh, which track are you going to? Uh, I'm going to be to your right. Or to your left. Or, or the other right. This railway will operate dirty steam. The distance between Ila and Rita isn't really impressive, but it, it still takes surprisingly long at 30 miles an hour to go through that, what, it, that's about a mile or something? Yes. Technically. And you are my engineer. Ah, I see. You are dead. I will move on this side track. Oh, but you have to... You're going to the interchange, are you not? Uh, yeah, but uh, I wanted to also do locomotive swap. Because 10-wheeler seems to be better for passenger service. You want to swap in the interchange since we're already down here? Uh... Well, yeah, we could. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Because I, I, I lost the plot of what I was doing. <laughs> right, so let me grab those wagons, since I'm going to interchange anyway. Let's see where you are. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. That's good, Nico. That's good. 
just get to double truck section and, and we'll do the swap there. I'm on my way to uh, interchange. Thank you. I'll let you in. I'll find it later. Right, so Nika is on this track, okay. Whoops. No, 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 no. Sorry, wrong track. Oh, my days. That's not where it's supposed to go. <laughs> oh, no. What? If you stay where you are for a moment, let me slip to the other track in front of you. Oh, I see what you're going to do. You're just going to run that out. Oh, that works too. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take yeah, them out. Good. And and push them onto, uh, onto the interchange. Because we need to stall them anyway. Yeah. You want, um, you want my engine, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if we want to run passenger services, then, uh, ideally, you want to do it with engine number two. Gotcha. Unless you want me to run freight instead? Uh, the problem with freight is that we don't have any at the moment. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> So the passenger services is is the only thing to do uh, right now because uh, we are waiting for logs to unload. And the last two cars that need switching are them two that I just brought. And I just need to push them onto the, well, push them to interchange and that solves the problem. So yeah, we are still waiting for those six cars to load, although they should be ready soon. And 
down. Right, uh, let me think, how are we going to do it? Um, <laughs> right, uh, so we'll change the plans. Uh, 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 who do we have here? Uh, I'll stay on number three. And we'll get... Uh, and boss, yes. And boss, are you with us on Discord? Uh, so join us on Discord. Uh, and then, hang on. Uh, let me just get uh, 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 employees. There we go. Anbos will become a crew member. Uh, Nico, have you jumped to locomotive number two? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Anbos, you can take over locomotive number one. And for now, you will have to wait for uh, lumber cars to finish loading. They should be ready within the next couple of minutes. And then you can switch them to interchange. Uh, also, join... Okay, you are in crew number one. Uh, Nico, if you can join crew number two. Just to keep things clean. Uh, Nico, if you can join crew number two. Will do. Uh, just so that we can keep things clean. Will be e easier to manage uh, what's going on. Okay. Uh, so now uh, I will have to manage this like that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so Anbos is currently moving for uh, for those cars. And they will be ready in literally a few minutes. 39.8, yeah, they, they are almost loaded. It's funny how Railroader can be either like a, well, I wouldn't say driving simulator, but it has some, some small level or degree of simulation. We, we both try to change the same switch. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, uh, the game has some some degree of simulation, so you can focus solely on, on driving trains. Uh, but there is also a lot of...
uh, a lot of things uh, that can can be done on management side uh, so in my case i'm jumping between uh, different crews and i can update their switch list so they can keep checking what needs doing so currently there are number of cars on switch list for uh, uh, I need to learn the names of, of people uh, to uh, uh, yeah uh, on on switch list of unbosses crew I can always leave that crew uh, but the switch list will remain which is nice oh I see I can actually add cars on the switch list even before they need to be switched which is nice oh I see some of them are over 40 tons hmm that's interesting that work uh, with your sawmill oh I see it, it, it just doesn't fit in okay we can sort it we can oh I see clean up will just delete that hmm. not exactly what I wanted to do because it just literally deleted all the cars from the switch list ah oh, but they are still loading how many tons are they planning to load onto those ones so this is a 40 ton car is this like 42 or hmm that's interesting Oh, 60, 60, 60, oh, oh no, that, that's 63 T and it's, I really wish to know how, how to find out uh, what's the maximum load for each car. Uh, somebody cool. else is on another discord i will be joining him see you at some point again yeah see you later thanks for yeah. joining us today yeah okay oh i can add another car to switch list okay you wouldn't understand the sound effect but it's basically german for um goodbye <laughs> okay cheers see ya cheers okay Nico is about to pick up two full cars of passengers on my days. That's going to be expensive load. That's good. That's good. We need that extra money. Also, let me just inspect. Uh, oh, hang on. I'm still, uh, I'm still in the wrong locomotive. That helps a lot. Okay, so Antbus is still waiting for this one. Or for all these to, to activate. <sighs> Question is how how much load did they take? Uh, 42 ton uh, they, they just exceeded 42 tons. They are still loading. 
can't remember. Is it 45 tons, maybe? Sixty-five. That that would be a lot, although I can't remember. Ah, oh, this this might be a problem. This one is still unloading. And how's the bridge supply? Still 14. <sighs> so it's now waiting game. Well, we technically still got some small amount of work uh, but for most part it's just waiting game uh, because we switched most of the things that we had to switch this one is still unloading Nico is currently... Okay, he's taking the passengers now. Finances. <laughs> We only got seventeen hundred dollars. That that's really bad. But again, we are making money really quick. Moving freight in this game is really, really paying a lot. Sawmill. Sawmill has 14 logs in storage. It's good. Performance is at I can't afford that. That would be cool to, to have that track to Sylvia. Or, yeah, Silva. I might think of it. Since I can benefit from 25% off, as we are not damaging cars and, and making any, any rough decisions, uh, we can get things cheaper. And since we are trying to meticulously achieve all our goals, yeah, that is a good deal. I I agree. Uh, having like twenty five percent off from uh, from that ten grand is really helping. Uh, this thing is still loading. Yeah, I, I I think you might want to cut from those cars. And we'll see what's uh, what's going to happen quicker. Uh, because instead of switching those, uh, you might get uh, three lock cars to Connolly Creek. Well, three, uh, four. We're gonna wait for ARC uh, ten fifty one ninety three to unload. Then you can cut four of them. And get them to Connolly Creek uh, L2.
Right, where's Nico? Nico is currently steaming to Ela. Okay, perfect. And there's really no cargo for me to uh, to move at the moment. Uh, how's the Ela stuff? Uh, should be. See, the farm is using its supplies really slow. This car still has 0.6 tons. And it doesn't seem to be using it at a uh, fast enough pace. Obviously the bridge is constantly unloading the stuff. There's still 13 tons left. Uh, but thankfully Nico is going back and forth. So I will have him collected at some point. Or I will grab uh, one locomotive and just go and collect it. It might be a good idea. There we go. Overall, uh, this tiny bit of track that, that you have available is definitely enough to have constant fun as a single player and um, because let's face it for a single player uh, that's wittier to Ela uh, distance is long enough to really keep you occupied with the amount of work that you need to do especially if you are trying to manage things alone and even with help of the AI uh, you will spend solid four or five hours uh, to complete each day. Um, so yeah, that's, that gives a lot of fun. And if you want to keep unlocking things and obviously increase the workload, uh, then at some point it looks like you might get overwhelmed and as a single player you won't be able to progress much further. Uh, because things are just taking too long. again all right so these are 40 45 45 and these are still loading uh, so i will add this to switch list there we go That is nicely growing. Yeah, we are too efficient, chat. We are way too efficient. <laughs> on the other hand, a day like that on the railroad, yeah, that, that would be easy day at work, I guess. As they say, easy money. You don't really do much and the money is flowing. How are you doing out there, Nico? Loading the passengers. He's still here. Or, or did he fell asleep? Oh, there we go. 
he just unloaded some some passengers. Okay, this one is on switch list. This one is on switch list. And this one jumps on the switch list. Okay, and, and why is it not done? There we go. Okay, and boss, uh, I, I think you can uh, pick those four log cars and move them to Connolly Creek uh, L2. And then hopefully when you get back, uh, lumber will be fully loaded. out with Nico. Oh, hang on, wrong key combination. Are you still there, Nico? Yes, I am here. <laughs> oh, you are now running around. Thought we will be pushing the train, but yeah, that that's also an option. Got to stop those cars and, and they went past the sidings. <laughs> oh my days, and, and I was wondering what's going on with them. Okay, let, let's fix that issue. I completely forgot about those two cars that I kicked, and I kicked them too hard, and they went over. <laughs> oh my days. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
There we go. Now let's get these cars back onto the right track. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot about them. I'm just glad that they didn't went way over. So I have to look at well, look for them. Uh. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so... I can, in fact... Move this one... This one is pretty much halfway unloaded. Uh, this one still has some oil. So I guess I'm gonna wait here for Nico to, to go past. And then I'm gonna jump to Ila. Because very soon I will have some cargo to pick up from there. And in the meantime, Ant Boss can sort out his switch list. There's going to be more cars showing up pretty soon. Yeah, I think they will load up to 50 tons or something. Uta, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Hmm. You can sell that cabus. You know what? That That is actually a brilliant idea. I need to do it. Uh, wait, if you sell something, I need to plug it for selling and then move it to correct track, is it? Uh, I, I think that's how it works. I've actually never sold anything. But yeah, selling that caboose is a brilliant idea because it's just an obstacle at the moment. And as a car, it is absolutely useless. I, I didn't thought about that, really. Yeah, we will do that. Uh, remind me when I'm next time at Interchange. Or you know what? I'm going to be cheap. I'm going to add it to someone else's job. Because hey, <laughs> I'm the boss around here. <laughs> so I can always delegate tasks. 
it's just really annoying how you have to go around in order to delegate tasks in this game. Anyway, let me first go closer to the junction. We've got plenty of coal and water. Okay, that should do. Now, since I got some extra time, I will join this crew. What do I think about Railroader? Well, when it comes to gameplay, it's probably one of the best games I played in a very long time. I really enjoyed that mixed gameplay of driving trains and effectively managing your own company. Uh, that I, I think that's a really cool idea. I, I love it. I, I, I really love the fact that it, it really feels alive. That this this whole uh, railroad is... Uh, it's, it's really nice. Oh, hang on. I, I can't really delegate this task and, and add this card to... Uh, okay. Okay, fantastic, and boss, uh, you can now return to the interchange. Uh, it will, yeah, it will take some time for. Uh, for those lock cars to load we will have to pick them up before end of the day and move them back to um, to the sawmill uh, to make sure that uh, we have enough deliveries Gone. No, 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 no. Oh, don't tell me you are not going to unload. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, I broke it. So, if you set this car and copy it, it will eventually... Yeah, so it set this car, but it... Oh, because it's because I pressed cycle, did I? Ah, there we go. So, whew. so cycling actually... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I, I almost thought I failed it and, and this car won't unload, but it will. Uh, right, what I uh, back to the question, what I think about Railroader. Yeah, so w from gameplay perspective, it's a brilliant game. You, you get those elements of managing your own company, driving some trains, like mix of everything. And the game does everything pretty good. Uh, where it fails is 
simulation, which is very simplified, and I hope that this element or this part of the game will get a little bit polished and the game will become a little bit more difficult and more... Uh, how, how would I call it? Maybe not precise. Uh, yeah, a, a bit more complicated, uh, especially on driver's side, uh, because, yeah, I like the simplified controls and, and there should, and this UI element should stay for, uh, for like, drivers who are still learning, but there should be an option to jump into the cabin and do things in a more hardcore way. Right now it's very simplified. You can still jump into the cabin, but the controls inside are just basic. And I would prefer just more in-depth experience uh, when it comes to driving those steam locomotives. So I hope that will get polished and that everything will work as intended. So reverser will work as in real steam locomotive. Uh, not in a simplified form. Uh, same goes to uh, water in the boiler. Right now, the glass represents a total water in entire locomotive, which includes tender and boiler. And that should be separate. So whatever you see in the glass when you jump into the cabin, in this glass, you should see only the water that you put in the, bo uh, in the boiler. Whereas the water in the tank or in the tender should basically be separate. And in order to check it, you should literally just go to the hatch, open it and look inside and, and check the water level. It's, that's, that's the best way to, to actually check it in most of the locomotives from that time. Uh, so that's in depth. Well, that depth of, of the game would would hide would be highly appreciated apart from that i don't know not many issues that that i really found as i said the, the game really makes up for all that simplicity in form of the great gameplay and that's what i like it for is still doing his thing. I will jump into Hila. Uh, and boss, uh, at the interchange, if you can find the caboose and move it uh, to uh, to one of the interchange tra uh, tracks uh, so it will get sold uh, at the end of the day because we effectively don't use it and it's just taking space you can even connect it to those two wagons that are already on the interchange track That's really awful. Uh, I mean, uh, that sounds very reputable. Uh, oh no, uh, this this is bad. Nope.
That actually sounds like an old kettle. Uh, nope. And that's okay. Uh, that 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 sounds really broken. <laughs> nope. I, I I don't enjoy this one. Uh, that that's a bit too reputable for for Mogul. Nope. Uh, it it sounds like this locomotive is bigger than it is. Okay, okay, that that's not too bad. Okay. You say you got 20 hours in the game. Oh, that's... That one's really nice. I, I like it. Custom flat top road number. That's three. Okay. I like this one. Okay. Uh, so... Let's have a look. 7.6 tons. So very soon the bridge supplies will be ready. Farming machinery is also on its way. So what I will do... Yeah, I, I actually like this one. It seems to fit Mogul pretty well because it's not the biggest locomotive and, and it's not the smallest one Say so you got 20 hours. Uh, I can't remember how many hours I spent in the game. Hmm. Let's just quickly check it. Uh, can I actually check it? I should be able to. <laughs> Where is this thing? Where is Railroad? it somewhere I spent well I also spent over 20 hours See, that's a lot that's a lot anyway I am waiting for things to happen same time what do we have Nico is switching Yep, you said both cars for Ila. Uh, I am in. Oh, okay, I am in this too. Perfect. Now 
I can join my crew. Uh, and boss, uh, check your updated uh, switch list and if you can just switch those cars. Oh, he's already on it. Um, you know what? Uh, if you can move those cars all the way past the yard and connect them with uh, CNO 2498 and RDG 2641 and leave them on, on that track next to you so that we have space to move around the yard. Uh, I think that would be better. Also, if you can get that caboose on the same track with all the rest of the wagons as we are trying to sell it. Nico is doing. Okay, Nico is currently backing up for his wagons. I swear I just saw like random smoke stack in here or maybe it's i don't know maybe i'm just falling asleep uh okay oh the farm is using supplies really slow i i have to say that this this wagon was on 0.8 about an hour ago or something they they almost not yeah they are almost not using all the supplies uh, how are these guys doing? Six and a half tons. Uh, Muta, uh, sawmill is currently taking 15. I'm on level 3 contract with them and, and they are taking 15 cars. And I don't really have money. That's the problem because we've, well, I I already invested in third locomotive, so I got two moguls and one uh, one ten wheeler, uh, which obviously set me back uh, by nearly six grand. Uh, I got additional passenger car, which also cost me four grand. Uh, so, yeah, probably not today, uh, but I will get some additional skeleton cars at some point. Although for now, Sawmill can, well, uh, we can easily deal with eight cars. Uh, we don't have that much need uh, to not be able to load all them cars twice, which is nice. Uh, you can always uh, load them up or leave them for a night uh, to, to load up and uh, start the next day pick them up, drop them off at the sawmill and it's currently like what? 20 past noon and uh, let me just check the wheat here depot oh that's the wheat here station I'm gone uh, let's go to depot yeah and still two cars needs to be unloaded move to Connelly Creek L1. Easy peasy. We can easily 
deliver 16 cars of uh, of logs into some right what do we have uh and the bus is still switching cars okay that's perfect and he's almost getting uh extra cars to switch i'm gone what am i what am i trying to do uh, it's Oh, okay. He actually cleared his switch list. Or am I? Uh... <sighs> okay. Operations and switch list. There we go. Uh... See that that switch list thing is really nice. this way you can communicate with with your teams and tell them okay i just updated your switch list check the cars that you need to move and that person can see okay i got cars there i need to move them there Um, yeah, you're right. I, I could technically squeeze 12 cars and unload them, but they are still unloading one by one. So, the efficiency is very comparable. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a good point to, to have extra cars. Okay, let's have a look. And uh, Nico should be. Yeah, this passenger train is making its way. Which. Okay, he has quite a lot of passengers. So he's making a lot of money for me today. In the meantime. How are these guys doing? 5.4. Oh, they, they are so slow these guys are just so slow and I want that bridge look at this nice truck it goes all the way past Bryson I wonder what's here oh those look like some nice sidings Oh, the Bryson looks really fun. Let, let's have a look. Can I actually jump there? Oh, yeah. You can actually check how, how Bryson looks like. Oh, look at this. Oh, this looks like a fun place. And this is that CTC stuff, is it? Uh, 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 can I actually look inside? No? Oh, it's blank. I'm gone. Is it gonna be in here? No? Where, where is that CTC board? Uh, to be honest, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, what I usually do, if I'm playing solo, uh, I delegate AI to, to just do uh lock cars and it seems to be a really efficient way to do it you just sacrifice one spare locomotive tell ai okay connect to these cars then pull them out of this r1 truck push them into l2 which is the longest siding you can find and that can easily fit eight cars and you just go back and forth. 
and since L2 can generate only 12 cars a day, you do one full run to L2, go back to R1, first four cars that gets unloaded goes back to L2 for loading, locomotive goes back uh, for the second four cars, uh, you just use time compression, wait for two or three hours uh, for the rest of the cars to be unloaded. You back them up and send them to L1, which can fit four cars. I think it can fit a little bit more than that. And then you send the locomotive to L2 for loaded cars with logs. Get them back to R2. Use time compression if you have nothing else to do. And then send AI to L1 to pick up those remaining four cars and just stow them on R1 and, and you got 16 cars delivered. So it's it's quite easy to do it. Oh, this looks like a nice place. Look at this water tower in the middle of the mountain and oh. Oh, that 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 looks like a fun place to drive look at this uh, so basically what you can do if you go to general and time you can set what's your time multiplier uh, so uh, it will tell the game how fast the time goes in the game by default, it's 2 to 1. So time goes twice faster in the game than it goes in real time. You can change the servicing time of the interchange. So when the workload will grow over time, you can push it down to 4 a.m. And then you can wait for one hour or you can sleep. So if you sleep, it will sleep all the way until 6 a.m. because that's servicing time of the interchange. Uh, but if you wait for one hour, it will push the time forward by one hour. Uh, which helps with boring times when you have to wait for things to happen. Like for example, loading of cars. Although right now, I have at least two players that can, can do things, so... Uh, so, Mutab, AI is brilliant. I, I have to say AI is brilliant, and I don't think AI is doing pretty well with passenger service, especially the way that I run them in single player. Because what I do in single player, which you can see in some of the videos that I released recently. I actually put a passenger car either at the front or at the back of my train. And I move cargo along with passengers. So I do very mixed trains. So if I need to go to Ila, let's say. I take all the cars to Ila, uh, all the freight cars to Ila. Uh, I also connect that passenger wagon and then I do switching at Ila. And on my way back, I load passengers towards Wittier. And if I got any other freight cars to take, I take them with me. Uh, so I, I don't necessarily run passenger services fully separate from uh, freight. Uh, because it's inefficient. If I'm having a locomotive that can pull six, seven hundred tons of cargo, and I'm using it to pull, like what, two passenger coaches, and go back and forth, I'm just wasting fuel. And if I'm playing on a single player, it saves me extra runs, because why should I run two separate trains on a single track, which is complicated if I can merge them together and use just one locomotive to move them to another location and I, I think that's more logical way to do it 
and more efficient at the same time. The problem starts when you have more players, because then, obviously, each of the players will need something to do. So that's why I split uh, those tasks between me, Nico, and... Uh, I need to learn this guy's name. <laughs> and Antboss. There we go. Ah, yes, that observ observation car, yes, I, I'm thinking about buying one, but I think it costs like 10 grand or something, it, it's super expensive. Uh, that's 1980, that's 1893, early heavyweight, yeah? Observation, he can take 25 passengers, he weighs 9,000 pounds, and it costs 7 grand. Well, I, I got 785 discounts, so I, I still need... Ah, uh, it's... yeah, it's expensive. Well, I also don't have enough cargo, but first two, three runs, I, I usually run with the cargo. And then if I need to wait for something, like log... Uh, or logs to, to be done by AI because unloading logs at, at the sawmill takes awfully long time then yes I, I can run separate passenger service but I do it myself so yeah it's it's just different approach uh, I like AI to, to just move things back and forth and, and, and stop and wait and don't waste my time. Uh, because managing AI and, and telling him, okay, move here, then move here, then run around this train in, in like 20 steps, it's just annoying. But one good thing that AI does, if you send it on a, uh, let's, let's show it on a uh, ARC3. Uh, so let's say I want this AI to switch something towards this siding. What many people would do is to select yard and tell it go 20 or go 10. No point because AI can do road forward 15 which is good speed for yard. And it will still stop before the buffer. So if you are doing long trip, what I usually do is at Whittier, I ask AI to back up with the wagons, let's say up to here, where I would put QZ, I would line up all the junctions so that AI can reach this place so I say okay you're in road mode reverse it will stop before the fuse I literally just change this switch and providing that I wasn't using any of these switches myself when I was running any other services these should be lined up for let's say Connolly Creek L2 and then I set it road forward 25 go and the AI will stop at the buffer. I don't have to do anything. It just goes back and forth. Simple as that. And like, in my opinion, it's far better than using AI for passenger service. Which I can easily run myself. But again, it's, it's just different approach to what AI should be doing and some players will just use it for passenger service because it gets monotonous over time. And there we go. That's AI just moving this locomotive and stopping a few meters of the buffer, which works exactly the same as FUZ. What also works right back. exactly the same as FUZ is setting the switch against the train. So if I would now say uh, to my AI, 
reverse at 15. It will reverse, but it will stop before the switch. So you don't even need to set the fusees. All you have to do is to line up appropriate switches or send AI against appropriate buffers. Uh, so for freight services, I, I think it works brilliantly. There we go, and AI is waiting before the switch because I lined it up against it. This one still has 0.4 tons. Okay, let's set it back to manual. Hmm, I wonder what commands we have. Ooh, that, that's a lot of weird commands. So I can teleport. I can wait for a specific number of hours. So you don't really need to wait for one hour. You can type in command slash wait and put three. And I believe it will move time by three hours. I, I will need to test it the other day. Stats. Uh, I wonder... Oh. Uh, that's a mess. And where is it displaying the stats? Ah, there we go. It displays some stats on the bottom. Yeah, there we go. can technically set loads for different cars uh, but obviously I'm not going to be doing that yeah I have to say these commands are very powerful okay we are still waiting for these guys 2.2 tons Nico took a short break I'm back which is good because his passengers will be getting ready. Welcome back. Do you uh, want me to keep running passenger trains here or what's the story? Uh, the story is that we run out of work for now. So the passenger service is literally the only thing you can do. Uh, we still we are still waiting for a few cars to be switched. Uh, so that we can progress to the next day. Uh, so in the meantime, yes, you can run passenger service. Uh, otherwise, there is literally nothing to do. Uh, what I can do, I can actually uh, wait for one hour. Okay. Since everyone is stopped, that actually worked. And now we should have some work. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Anboss will switch those. Uh, right, Nikov. 
if you can run one more passenger service to which here and then after that you can get those passenger cars uh, let me just put a fusey for you uh, back to interchange there's gonna be a few Z on one of the tracks if you can leave those passenger cars there then refuel your locomotive and we will get ready for day two okay and what I'm gonna do We'll pick up this Ela train. Uh, we just finished second phase. I just need to get those wagons back to interchange. And tomorrow we will finish the third phase and the bridge should be ready. There we 
go. So now I will use AI while I. Oh, thank God. I, I went a bit wrong. So switch this. I knew I messed up. Okay. Uh, I'm still waiting for this thing. Okay. Okay. Now I can join this one. Hello. And it's gonna go on my switch. Okay, let's wait for Nico to leave this section. Uh, and the boss, uh, I just updated your uh, switch list. If you can just check it and, and switch those cards. still on the single track actually. oh he actually moved his player model and uh, Nico you can teleport your player model back to your locomotive by pressing control and zero oh. Nice. Thanks for that. Also, if you press zero on its own, you will have external view loot to your locomotive. Yeah, I need that one. I yeah. Know then you can uh, you can also fly the camera in that view. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't necessarily need to teleport your player model out. I was just uh, moving the camera with the map and I didn't expect it to move the player as well. Ah, I see. Uh, well, if you are in first person while you are just moving map and, and, and press teleport, then it will teleport your player model. But if you I are see, in I that see. zero mode, uh, where you are flying around your locomotive and then use the map and teleport, you will teleport the camera only.
I have to admit that the grade must be really huge in here if Mogul can go only at like what 22 23 miles an hour and that's with empty flat Still managed to get to reach here. Take them up. Okay, Nico is currently moving to interchange. Uh, we also got freight train coming back from Connelly Creek. Just as expected, everything arrives at the so same time. The uh, yeah, you can actually reverse it into the shed for now. Uh, so that you are not occupying... Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not on the side of the shed. Uh, I'm not sure why, why this fuse is still there. Uh, there is another fuse on, on the side truck. Further down the road. I, I just lined up your switches. If you can leave the passenger coaches on, on that truck. Because it's not being used oh, for anything else. Right. Uh, what is my... Uh, one more time. Oh, never mind. Now you're coming to Discord. I was only hearing you through the stream for a moment. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, uh, I might have forgot to uh, press the button. I know how that is.
Okay, Nico, go all the way back to uh, to the end of, of the yard. Because I'm coming in with uh, because I'm coming in with the cargo. Oh yeah, uh, go all the way to the end of the yard. Oops, uh, that was a bit too hard. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Fix it. Oh, <laughs> I think I see it. Oh God. I, I need to figure out how to reveal. Uh, th there was a button for it, uh, but I forgot how to do it. Oh no. <laughs> Shift R, thank you. Uh. Okay, okay. No one see it. There's nothing to see. It was just minor bump. Oh my days. Uh, there we go. Oh well, this is gonna go against our statistics, is it? Yeah, probably our our freight performance or no operation safety oh yeah that that's gonna go down and it's all my fault my perfect record just <laughs> just gone down oh i messed up Oh well, I tried to do it right and I messed it up. Oh, I, 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 I also damaged my locomotive, but that can be quickly repaired. Okay, 
I actually got paid for this. Uh, oh no, I, I don't get paid for returning those. Okay. M maybe it won't affect uh, the safety uh, statistics of, of my railways. Wow, you actually used a lot of coal. Uploading those cars halfway through. Uh, let's see location with your sawmill. We got twenty one logs in reserve. go Nico, if you can back your locomotive a little bit more so I can try and fit mine onto the track. Sure.
Okay. That should do. So we can now... There we go. Yeah, uh, I, I messed up operational operation safety. Oh, it went down to 71%. Uh, but because overall reputation is over 100%, it, it still remains. Well, I, I still keep all the bonuses. So all we have to do is to, well, avoid uh, causing any any disasters, and we should be all right. Hours. Oh, ARC one has been damaged. What happened with this one? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, we got... We got a car for Ila Farm. Stenzel. Two cars. And some cars for Whittier Sawmill. Nice. So... We can now switch things around. Uh, hang on. I'll stay in two or three for now. Uh, Nico. Yes. Uh, if you can jump to crew number three. Then let me just uh, uh, get the cars for you. Just go to row one. This one, this one, this one. Perfect. I will just jump into this one and this one. Perfect. And what I will do, I will be running passenger service. Okay. Uh, 
I updated your switch list. So if you can check that out. Okay. Uh, grab uh, locomotive number three and join crew three. Will do. I think I am on crew three already, but I will grab the locomotive. Yeah. Okay. And and boss, uh, I also updated your switch list. Yes. Yeah, I, I think we need to let and boss to cut his cars first from the pile. Oh yeah, and also let's try to not damage anything, including our locomotives, uh, so we can improve on operational safety, which I, I kind of failed myself when I damaged those cars. Sounds good. Uh, but hopefully oh wow yesterday we actually moved 812 passengers that's a lot of passengers yeah, that, that's a lot. I, I have to admit that this is a lot of passengers. Why do you turn the headlight on? Yay. Okay, Nico, you should be good to go.
There we go. So yesterday it was one of my workers who were running passenger services. And today I will be doing that. And I will leave the switching for Nico and Anbos. With Anbos focusing mostly on sawmill operations. While Nico will focus on mainline operations. Whittier has only 16 passengers. Perhaps it's because of the time of day. It's half past four. Okay, Nicole, you can now go to Whittier if you want. Alright, thank you.
I have to say that this game looks pretty nice at night. Definitely I need to think about running more nighttime services. sold equipment that's why we have so much money is now switching up with here and unboss is 
heading to Connelly Creek. Good, good, good. Go. Can now stop it. Okay. Now this light won't be necessary. Problem with this locomotive is that it doesn't have any hang on or no I can't really customize it yeah you can change the whistle Sadly, I don't have light at, at the other side of this uh, market. Yeah, I can change the markers. Green. Wait, what? why do we have two green ones? Couldn't that be white? green red for mark I, I i'm not super familiar with american railways but yeah i, I think the markers should be something like that yeah unfortunately there is no way to put any sort of like a lantern or, or light at the back of this train There's also a button to put like a interior light, tab light. Anyway, uh, let's finish this switching.
Okay, Nico, uh, how's things going at with here? Going well. Um, I've pulled the empty and about to put it on my train, and then I gotta spot the ones for the industry. Okay, am I okay to drive on to the station? Yeah, go for it. So the track is clear? Yes, it is. That's very good. Slowly start dropping it out. Already late. Wow, it's been a for four and a half hours. Didn't even notice when that time went. Wow. <laughs> and we only went through one day in game. It was busy day though. one weird bell <laughs> uh, I, I love how sounds are getting distorted when when you are just moving quickly uh, Nico yes uh, the second car behind you it's almost empty And it will, yeah, it, it will soon be flagged for returning to interchange. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. The one behind me is loading? They are both unloading. No, no, no. But the one just... Oh. BM58388 is loading machine parts right now. Oh, and okay. BM and O24625 is unloading metal stock. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so those are two wagons that you just delivered? Yes. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. It, oh. For a second, I thought... Oh. <laughs> 
you just you just added to yourself extra work in, in like a minute but okay that, that that's fair that's fair Shall I go ahead and take the main? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if you finish switching here, you can. Uh, you can take your train to Ela. Excellent. Thanks. at least one on break is good loading perfect
first on the main line. Perfect. There we go. Almost ready for another run. Right, Nico, let me know when I can move uh, to You Bila. should be clear. Okay.
camera is getting stuck on the trees. <laughs> go we got their safe and sound okay ARC one stop for a PZ which will give me time to give additional orders to AI. So what I'm gonna do, I will ask him to push those log cars on a correct siding. And then reverse uh, to engine shed for repairs because the engine is damaged. Perfect. 
Okay, let's have a look at our stuff. I am here. Glendato, thank you very much for subscribing. Oh, that's one way of traveling. Because I was unable to perform any shunting at Ila due to Nico's operation. Uh, I, think, I believe that the best course of action is to just reverse back to Ikea. Which might. look a bit odd but it is one way of doing things at least for now until we fix the bridge and then I will continue the passenger service all the way to Bryson where we got more than enough facilities to turn around or accept passenger train and perform some shunting with freight trains. So it will definitely open some additional possibilities. Uh, but first Nico needs to set off those freight cars. hours
go. Another creek. How's those wagons doing? They are all loaded. That loads pretty fast. I see. If if you press on specific locomotive on, on the map, you just need to left click on it. You can actually switch between them. Okay. That's interesting. Yard. Perfect. Let's send AI in this direction. Let's have a look at Nico. He's about to push Ela Bridge uh, train. Uh, but he seems to. if he realized that last wagon in his consist should go to East Whittier Interchange. Although, technically, he can leave it. Because by the end of the day, we will be able to collect this train and send it back to Interchange anyway. So whichever way he's gonna choose, uh, this last wagon shouldn't make any difference. In fact, he could connect everything, and as long as elaborate side, well, as long as all the wagons from elaborate side are on the right track on the marked area, and they unlock. That shouldn't be a problem. Time being, I won't be running another service. We are going to go. I will follow this.
He's now pushing. Elaborate. Oh, I see. He might be trying to collect all these wagons. I see. That makes sense. I'm stuck at wit here yeah? because if I will run another service I will start blocking so I need to wait for him to finish operations at Ela. And that's going to take a minute or two. probably stopped about seven lengths away from the train but although I might be lucky actually stopping five lengths it is okay good to know for the future i will know that if you will send a train on a road mode and it will stop in front of another train it is about five lengths so then you just switch it to yard operation set it to five lengths 
and it will connect with whatever is standing in front. nicely unloading let's have a look at nico how are you doing nico what's the progress doing of all right how's the progress attila oh i see it is going all right uh, i have spotted at the farm supply and i am preparing to deliver to the bridge site nice So as soon as you deliver at the bridge side, I think we will wrap it up uh, because it, yeah, it, it's been a while since I started the stream and it's late. <laughs> Sounds good. Good. So I'm just waiting for you. Okay. No pressure, no pressure. I'm just observing. your bet is ai going to reach uh with your interchange before nico is going to finish his jumping manual that is a good question well ai still has some distance to cover but it's going at speed.
Almost. AI might even make it to stole these wagons. go I'm happy with the result
literally waiting for him. That should do. Yeah, this is good for today. Okay, I, I think we will just wrap it up to, uh, in here. There we go. Let's, uh, let's stand here for a photo. I, I think that would Internal camera, okay. Beautiful. Always bad at lining up for a photos. There we go. Yeah, that will do. Whew. Right, everyone. I guess it is time to wrap things up. Uh, for some reason, oh, yeah, okay. For some reason, the music has stopped. Anyway, 
<sighs> we have reached the end of today's episode and today's stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I have to say that in early stages of the game, and uh, the speed and the general tempo can vary. So there are periods when everyone is busy and if you have two or three players it's really nice to have that extra help but there are some moments when the work just dies down and all some people can do is to wait because there's just literally nothing to do for them uh, so the game has its own I would say unique pace but apart from that I'm having a blast so if you haven't picked it up and if if you are thinking about getting railroader in my opinion it's worth it. it's totally worth it every single cent penny dollar whatever uh, whichever currency you are using yeah definitely the game is worth its price it's pretty good product, even if it's in early access. It has its own bugs, and, and there probably will be some things that don't work. Uh, but so far, I haven't encountered anything that is game-breaking. And I'm having fun. And I hope you also had fun watching today's stream. Uh, I will come back with some more. Uh, I will definitely try to get some more players uh, to to help us run this railway and hopefully things will get busier as we will progress through the game and yeah when when we unlock bryson which will extend the tracks by several miles uh, when we get some extra rolling stock i i can see that there will be more than enough work for at least two, three players. Who knows what will happen next. But yeah, uh, definitely. The game looks promising. Right, anyway. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are watching me on YouTube. Uh, subscribe if you are watching me on YouTube. And if you are watching me on Twitch. Please consider to give me a follow. And join my Discord server links are under the player on twitch or uh, in video description on the youtube see you later bye bye